Okay, so welcome to History Saver 1941. I'm Josh with History Saver 1941. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel and hit that bell notification so you get notified every time I upload. It's as easy as that. So hopefully I've earned your subscription. If not, well, I hope I hope I can. Um, we all know that sometimes I do not use the best judgment on certain things. But everything that we do here on the channel has some type of history theme. We we do all kinds of things, from the travel videos to the World War II stuff, <clears throat> excuse me, and um, to just everything we do between the rations and everything in between that. We do a lot of stuff for history. Well, today, uh, I was looking at some things from World War II and some of the items that soldiers had um, that they enjoyed, such as food and drinks and different things. And one of the things that a lot of people think about when I think about World War II and what the soldiers drink, uh, like to drink and enjoy, is Coca-Cola. Um, bottle Coca-Cola was a big thing during World War II. It was invented in 18, uh, around the late 18, um, 80s. And the man who invented it, Mr. Pemberton, if I'm saying it right, um, was a Civil War veteran, and he was a pharmacist. He was uh, from Atlanta, Georgia, and in the late 1880s, he developed the formula for Coca-Cola or the syrup for Coca-Cola. He began selling it at a little drugstore pharmacy there in Atlanta, and he was selling it for around five cents a glass. Now, in I think it was 1888 or 89, he passed away. But he had been selling shares of Coca-Cola to business partners and different people. And Coca-Cola began advertising all over the city. And pretty soon after his death, it was advertised more and it took off. And today we all know Coca-Cola is virtually available in every country across the globe. And along with its predecessor or competitor, Pepsi Cola. But I have been watching a lot of friends here on YouTube, uh, such as Old Smokey and a lot of other guys trying old Cokes. Now, I happen to have a few of these laying around. Um, they're not old, old, but they're from the 90s and then some early 2000s. But the, the thing that interests me is that I was watching and it seems like, yeah, Coca-Cola goes flat, but it's pretty safe to drink. So what I'm going to do today at the request of a lot of people, and well, Old Smokey's just always try to get me to try some of these, honestly. If you guys have not checked out Old Smokey's channel, go do that now. But I have research this assistant okay not ostensibly but i have researched this okay this should not make me sick now what i have in front of me is a variety of coca-cola um this one is from 2007 now the reason why i like this is it brings it bought back the old style coca-cola bottle and if you can see right here you've got the coca-cola label on the front of it and it's pretty much the old style Coca-Cola bottle that was a retro throwback. Um, that's from 2007, so this is not that old. Um, however, a lot of people, you know, Coca-Cola bottles are collectible. They have been collected throughout the years for football teams, Christmas, you name it. It's been on a Coca-Cola bottle. Um, this one is Christmas 1995. There you go right there. So Christmas 1995, and then this one is the Houston Livestock Show and Rodeo from 1996. So pretty cool collectible bottle there. And then this bottle right here um, says class of 2000, but the copyright on this thing is 1996. But uh, class of 2000, so this is a 2000 uh, Coca-Cola, you can see class of 2000, and, uh, 2000 right here on the top. So this is a end-of-the-world Coca-Cola bottle. 
um, when Y2K was um, in the mix. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick out the oldest out of this batch, and I'm going to try it. I'm going to drink it, you all against my better judgment. So I have a 1995 Christmas Coca-Cola right here. And uh, yeah, so this is probably going to stink. Um, it, it appears okay. It's a tad bit discolored. I do not know how these things were stored because I actually bought these at an antique store. So, I have no idea where these coats originally came from, how they were stored, if they were hot, if they were cold. But um, this one has a little bit of discoloration, not much. I don't really see too much floating around in this thing. Um, but, cue the music. Let's open up this Coke. Until I'm not a drinker, I don't even know how to use a bottle opener. There is a hiss. So hopefully um, something has been okay. Uh, the cap looks great. Um, there's a, well, hold on. There's the cap right here. Um, no discoloration whatsoever, really. Um, it's pretty sticky. Sorry. Little space, big man. Um, anyway, so you saw the cap. It looks okay. Um, let's do the smell test. Um, now the smell of this Coke is uh, <laughs> questionable. Okay, so um, do I put it in a glass or do I... Drink it straight out the bottle. Um, let's go for the bottle first. Oh, it, it, it has a faint smell of, you know, the Coca-Cola smell, but it just smells really old. Um, oh, okay. It's not... It's not horrible, but it tastes like old shoelaces. Um, yeah, it tastes like old shoes. I mean, not that I know what old shoes taste like, but gosh. Um, no carbonation. The bottle's pretty clean. Nothing on the bottom of the bottle, so that's, that's good. Um, no floaties. That's good. Yeah. 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 Okay. Um, ugh. Yeah, not, not good. Um, whew. All right, so now let's move on to 1996, Houston Rodeo. Oh. So here you go, um, Houston Livestock Rodeo, 1996. There we go. Um, inside of the Coke, I don't see any floaties. That's a good sign. A little hiss. The, the cap looks okay. So, uh, yeah. <sighs> smell test. Uh, it smells exactly like that one. Um, not much of a difference in smell, honestly. Uh, this one's from 95, 96 here. <sighs> Doesn't taste horrible. Tastes like a really flat Coca-Cola. Um, yeah, yeah, that, that second taste is horrible. Um, 
what am I doing? Um, how do these guys do this? I don't know. Um, okay. Um, oh. Okay, so 96, not too much better. Uh, a little bit better, but not much. Um, this one, class of 2000. Uh, celebrate good times is what it once said. So graduating class of 2000, not for the end of the year, I guess, um, or for the start of 2000. Well, it leaves a really bad film on your teeth. Um, cap again looks fine. Oh, wow. What is wrong with this cap? Sealed really good. Nothing on the cap. Uh, appears okay. 2000 Coke. Smells decent. No floaties in this one either. Um, bon Appetit. Doesn't taste good at all. Um, just tastes like old shoelaces. I mean, it, it definitely, you could tell this was a Coke. But uh, again, not, not, not good. Oh, oh, oh. I'm gonna try to I'm gonna try to get this one down. I've gotta put at least one of these down. Um there we go. Oh my god, he's, he's gonna he's gonna he's gonna he's coming at puke! He's gonna puke! He's gonna puke! He's gonna puke! He's gonna, he's gonna, he's gonna, he's gonna puke! Okay. What I do for history. So we're we're exploring Coca-Cola history and we're tasting history. Um, like I say, guys, some of the some of the ways that I teach history sometimes are not practical ways of teaching history, but it's entertaining for you guys. And you know, it's something I can say I did. Um, against all better judgment, it's something I can absolutely say I did. And teach you guys a little bit about the history of Coca-Cola, which has a long and extensive history. I mean, now if you ask me to try a World War II Coke, I will probably taste it, but I'm not going to chug it. Okay, next on the list. Final one, the Coke from 2007 um, with my favorite looking bottle. I'm actually going to make sure I save this bottle. I can actually probably use this bottle for some reenacting purposes or just a display. Um, absolutely looks great. Fine, nothing on the inside and Here's you a better look at the old writing on there a little bit. You can barely see it. The cap on this one, though, however, is not the greatest looking cap. Um, got a hiss. And, yeah, there's a little discoloration on this cap. I don't know. That's because the way it's been stored. Oh, smell test is not, it does not smell good. Smells actually a little bit worse than this one. I don't know why this is a newer Coke. Um, Bon Appetito. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Okay, that tastes like somebody soaked an old sneaker inside of a Coca-Cola for 10 years, 
let it sit there and ferment, and then put it into this bottle and kept it. That's horrible. That is absolutely just foul. Um, undoubtedly, this was stored worse than these because this is a newer Coke. Um, you know, some of the advertisements that Coke has did over the years are really neat. Um, the Christmas advertisements, my fa my personal favorite's always been the polar bear. Um, but, you know, they used to have these things on horse-drawn buggies and... Mm, Oh, oh, uh, but yeah, they used to have these advertisements on horse-drawn buggies and going through the streets and on carts and stuff and on the front of buildings and the, uh, the script that you see Coca-Cola written in actually right here was the script of, um, Mr. Pemberton's, um, original business partner. And it, it still uses his, based off his original script, where he actually wrote the word Coca-Cola today. And that's whew, always been synonymous. But you can kind of see how Coca-Cola has kind of changed a little bit with this script right here. And then this script right here. It is a little bit different. It has the li white lines going up in different ways. And you can uh, also tell that on this one. Um, oh, my God. I don't know. I don't know if there's a reason for that. Oh. Why do I do this? Why am I doing this? This is the dumbest thing I've ever did on this channel. Okay. I can't do it anymore. Um, yeah, so there you go. Um, I'm chicken it out. Of course, I poured the rest of these in here. I didn't drink, but one of these. Um, there you go, um, 2000 Coke, 95, 96, 2007. So 95, 96, 2000, 2007. A, uh, yeah, 20 something year old Coke. Uh, okay guys, well, with that being said, I'm going to go throw up now. We will see you on the next episode of History Saver 1941. Until then, keep preserving history, stay safe, and please don't try this at home because this is just absolutely dumb. Have a good day.